Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Hi, it's me, Donna V. I'm here for story time. It's story time. It's Sunday. It's sleepy time. I wish I was sleeping, but then I wouldn't be here with you guys. Good morning, Rick. How are you? Ah, do you ever just want to stay in bed? Because it's kind of rainy and gray out today. But you know what? I'm here to read some books, you guys. And I'm so excited to be here. Thank you so much. Good morning. Good morning. Let's see. I need to pick a letter of the day today. Ooh, maybe Z. That's a good suggestion. I think Z is a great suggestion. Z. Let me see if I can find my Z. I can find some Z's if I went back to sleep. So today, again, we're trying out live on Facebook and live on Instagram. Live on Facebook, live on Instagram. Why not, right? It's like having camera one, camera two. Now, I know that I wonder if there's going to be a lot of people sleeping this morning. It's okay. It's totally okay. I have some really good books lined up for you. I picked out some books that I was... Luckily, I have really good friends with really little kids. Hello, Anita. Good morning. Hello, Heather. Hello, Betty. Hello, TJ. Hi, Christina. Are the kids there? Oh, I hope the kids are there. But you could be watching even if the kids aren't there. I'm looking for today's letter <clears throat> of the day. And today, if it's in my package of letters, it's going to be Z for Z's. Because I bet you we'd all like to have a little bit. Uh, you know what? TJ, if I can't find Z, then maybe we will be doing Z, uh, H. But it was suggested before you guys got here to do Z for Z's. Because today looks like a good day. We'll do H tomorrow. I'll leave it out of the pack. Today looks like a great day to get some more Z's. Right? Z's. Let me show you what it looks like. Once I put these away. Because it's important to put away what you take out. Right? Who? Okay. Z. Z. Right? Z sounds really good. Like, <sighs> Z's. Sleeping. Z is for zebra. Z is for zippity doo da. Z is for zealous. Zealous. Means I'm excited and I'm zealous. I'm, I'm excited about what we're doing today. I am. Hi, Raph. How are you? Good morning, Vin. Jennifer, good morning. Thank you all for being here today, for getting up on this Sunday morning. And I know it's a little gray outside. I know, but look who's here. My little buddy is here. I know. My friends are here. You guys are here. I love the fact that you all showed up today. It's important to make a commitment to be here. Yep. Hi, Thomas Freeman. Everything is going to be okay. And everything's going to be even more okay once I raise my little... There we go. Better. So, you know what we start with, right? A little stretching. A little seated stretch. A little... Ooh. A little chair stretch. Some people are lucky enough to be able to move around. Some people, uh, or some people, sometimes people just can't get out of their chair. Older people, or somebody that may have a disability. So it's really good to just stretch from where you're sitting. Really important. Reach for the sky. Ooh, and then 
I always like to say, give yourself a hug. Yes, tomorrow I will do H. I have it right here. It's on deck, okay? So stretching, give yourself a hug. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Ooh, maybe like flap your wings like you were a bird. Hi, Jonathan. Flap, 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 flap. Feels really good, right? Turn your head. Ah, uh, turn the other way. Nice. Look up. Look down. Roll it all around. Maybe go the other way. Perfect. Yay. Good job out there. Water is also a really important part of staying healthy. Good morning, James. No, no. Yes, water is such an important part to stay healthy. Drink lots of water. Today, you might notice I'm wearing my glasses because I wear contacts. But today, even my eyes were tired. And I was just like, huh, I'm going to wear my glasses. I need to give my eyes a break. Sometimes you need to give things a break, like your eyes. Take out your contacts. So the letter of the day today, Mary Jean, that you just got here. Hi, James, is Z. Z is for Z. Like I wish I was still sleeping, but I couldn't be sleeping and read to you guys. And reading to you is way more important. Oh, so what else do we do in the morning, you guys? TJ, do you know? I bet you do. There are other any other kids here and they want a shout out. Moms and dads, dads and dads, moms and moms, or feral kids. Just send me a little note and I'll shout the kids out. Okay. So what else we do? We take our vitamins. Oh, that's a light. That's not my vitamins. It felt like it was my vitamins. They're over here somewhere in my little They're there. They're under my feather boa. Okay, taking your vitamins is a very important part of the morning. I already brushed my teeth. Oh, I don't want to chew on camera. Wow. So, does anybody know what comes next? I don't know. Those of you that have been watching every day, you might know it's time to see a positive thought so we can breathe in and out. We have to think about something positive. Always, right? Because this too shall pass. Ooh. This is a good one for Sunday. Do not abandon the tools of intellect, logic, and common sense, but combine them with your feelings, faith, and imagination. You know what that means to me? That means to me that we know what we have to do, right? We're all staying inside. We're staying safe. We are washing our hands. We are using our intellect and our faith because we believe that everything will be okay. But most importantly, here he is, my little buddy. We are social distancing. Yeah? It's better today? Good. We are, this is my social distancing buddy. He is my example of, he lives with me, so I get to hug him. But when I see a friend that I know lives somewhere else, what do we do to that friend? We wave from across the street. We wave from a few feet away, six feet away to be exact. Doesn't mean we don't love each other. Doesn't mean we love each other any less. It just means that we have to do what's right right now. Right, boys and girls? So, we can wave to our classmates on Zoom or on the internet. Ha! Ah, hello, Anthony Giuliano. How are you today? Mike, how are you, Mr. Frobros? So, let's think for a minute. What can we breathe in to center ourselves to get ready for reading time? Because we want to get ready for reading time. Hmm. Let's see. 
Let's breathe in. Hmm. Do you have an idea? Maybe a suggestion. Any kids out there have an idea? Let's breathe in. Yo, he's snoring. He's snoring. I see little Z's coming out of his head. How about we breathe in hope and we breathe out faith, right? Sunday, let's do that. Ready? Or faith and then hope. We're going to breathe in some faith. So whatever you believe in doesn't matter to me. I love you the same. So whatever you believe in, then you got to have faith. Like George Michael says. And then we're going to breathe out hope. We'll do that for three and then we're going to read some books. Faith. Hope. Breathing in faith. Breathe out some hope. Breathing in some faith. Breathing out some hope. Wow, doesn't that feel nice and relaxed? Wow, that's awesome. So you have a new Chromebook you're using at home, TJ, and you see me better? That's awesome. I love that. Okay, so I was lucky enough to borrow some books from a friend. Yeah, another comic. His name is Mike Salona and his wife, Jen, Put some books together for me because they're their little boys, Joe and Vinny. Let me borrow some books. Just like I read yesterday a book from my friend, my friend TJ. Today I'm going to read from one of their books. I think I might do two today because they're little books, not like a big book. Like we had TJ's book was our last book yesterday, which is like our big deal book. Okay, this I thought would be funny because it's Sunday, change it up a little bit as far as like what is going on for our first book. Anybody ever hear of this one? It's called Clack Clack Moo, Cows That Type. Should be a good one. Farmer Brown has a problem. His cows like to type all day long. He hears click, clack, moo. Wait, here, I have to do this. I gotta take my comments off so I can see. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. What kind of typewriter is that? But that farmer doesn't look too happy now, does he? <laughs> That's funny. At first, he couldn't believe his ears. Cows that type? Impossible. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. That's the strangest noise I've ever heard. <laughs> Ew, That's so funny. Then he couldn't believe... His eyes. Dear Farmer Brown, the barn is very cold at night. We'd like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. Let's read that one more time. Can you guys see that? Dear Farmer Brown, the barn is very cold at night. We'd like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. That's so silly. It was bad enough. The cows had found the old typewriter in the barn. Now they wanted electric blankets? No way, said Farmer Brown. No electric blankets. So the cows went on strike. They left a note on the door. Sorry, we're closed. 
No milk today. Can you imagine? The cows went on strike. They said no milk today. No milk today. What? cried the farmer Brown in the background. He heard the cows busy at work. Click clack, moo. Click clack, moo. Click clack, clickety clack, moo. Cows the type? That's some talent. The next day, he got another note. Dear Farmer Brown, the hens are cold too. They like electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. The hens? What in the haystacks? Oh. This is going to get crazy. The cows were growing impatient with the farmer. They left a new note on the barn door. Closed. No milk. No eggs. How can he have a farm if he has no milk and no eggs? No, no eggs, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard them. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. Just keep myself a paper cut. Cows that type, hens on strike. Who ever heard of such a thing? How can I run a farm with no milk and no eggs? Farmer Brown was furious. That's what I said. That's exactly what I said. Right? It's crazy. How is it possible that he has a farm with no milk, no eggs? It's crazy. It's a nice looking farm though. Oh, oh, oh. oh all right. Are you guys ready? Farmer Brown decides to answer the letter. He got out his own typewriter. Dear cows and hens, there will be no electric blankets. You are cows and hens. I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farmer Brown. I've never heard of such a thing, you guys. This is zany. Zany. Z. It's the letter of the day today. Zanerific. All right, here we go. I like this. Duck was a neutral party. So he bought, brought, excuse me, I apologize. Duck was a neutral party. So he brought the ultimatum to the cows. Do you see him waddling down the road? He's waddling down the road and he's taking his little duck self and he's going to bring the note to the cows and the ducks. Can't wait to see how that goes. There's like a padlock on the barn door. They're not letting anybody in or out. It's kind of like very familiar, guys. All these books have a very familiar theme. The cows held. An emergency, an emergency <laughs> meeting. All the animals gathered. They all gathered around the barn to snoop, but none of them could understand Moo. All night long, Farmer Brown waited for an answer. Come here. Say hi to everybody. Hi, Yogi. Hi, Yogi. Guys, see Yogi? He's tired. Yogi has a mohawk. Mohawk. Yogi. Say hi to everybody. Come on. Go to sleepies. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. We'll move this guy. You want to go up there? 
So they're waiting all night for an answer. Duck knocked on the door early the next morning and he handed Farmer Brown a note. Dear Farmer Brown, we will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. Leave them outside the barn door and we'll send Duck over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cows. Oh, he's back over there. Can you see him? See him? Do you hear that, Uni? I just don't know how a duck's going to carry a typewriter. That's what I'm saying. Farmer Brown, after heavy to thought about it, made, well, he decided this was a good deal. So, <laughs> next to the barn door, he waited for Duck to come home with the typewriter. Please look at these ducks, and uh, I'm sorry, the hens and the cows, all laying there with electric blankets. Okay? That is one crazy farm. The next morning, he got a note. Dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. We'd like a diving board. Sincerely, the ducks. <laughs> click, click, quack. Click, click, quack. Clickety, clack, quack. Can you imagine? This is a heck of a farm. Maybe if it wasn't for farmer that taught them the E-I-E-I-O, they wouldn't know their letters. <laughs> that was old McDonald that did that. You can thank him for all the animals knowing their E-I-E-I's and their O's. Look at, what is that, guys? They got their diving board. I think the farmer was just I think they just wore him down. That was a great book. Thank you so much. I love that. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, Deb Laveglia. If you just tuned in, today's letter of the day is Z. For Z's, I wish I was still sleeping and Z's were coming out, but then I wouldn't be here spending time with you. So, I was zealous about being here to read to you guys, seriously. So I got a little zip in my step and I came over into my little reading, my reading studio, and I came to read to you guys. The first book that we read was Click Clack Moo, Cows That Type, on loan from Vinny and Joseph Salona. Thank you so much to the Salonas. I really appreciate you helping me out. So, the next book that we're going to read is going to be, you know, there's a theme today. We just read about cows on a farm drinking some water. Drinking some water. Today my eyes were tired, so I'm wearing my glasses. In case anybody doesn't recognize me, it's still me. So, we just had a book about a farm with some cows and some ducks. I say we keep it going. And we're going to read Happy Go Ducky, also on loan from the Salonas. The word loan is right in their name. Salona. Salonia. Salonia a book. Salonia a book. That was pretty good. Guys, I mean, really. Happy Go Ducky. Max was happy. Too happy. He stared at the sky with a strange grin on his face. Smell the flowers, he said. Feel the breeze. 
Oh, I like Max. I identify with Max. Smell the flowers, he said. Feel the breeze. Hi, Uncle Joe. Thanks for tuning in. Turnpike Joe, everybody. What's with him, asked Coco. Spring fever, said BB. Today is the first day of spring. Coco waved a paw in front of Max. He didn't even blink. Will he be like this all day? Coco asked. All day, said BB. Yeah, it was. It was. Papa's name is Ducky. Okay, said Max. You know, boys and girls, like I've told you, this is the first time I've ever laid eyes on a lot of these books. And I want to read it right. So let me try that one again. Because it says afterwards, he read it in a dreamy voice. So when we read that, you can go right back and read it in a dreamy voice. There's a duck in your neighbor's pool? TJ, that's pretty awesome. <sighs> Coco and BB went inside. Irene came out. I'm leaving for the day, Max. You're in charge, okay? Okay, said Max in a dreamy voice. Irene told Max what to do. Mail, plant, sweep, scrub, dishes, trash, grass, kittens. Wow, that's a lot to do. That's a lot to do. Good morning, Ruthie. As soon as Irene left, Max got started. Coco looked out the window. Bebe, she said, why is Max sweeping the grass? Hi, Danielle. Good morning, Tracy. Max dragged the hose inside. Sweep the grass, he said. Water the floor. Oh, no, said BB. It's Irene's day away. Guess who she left in charge? Max turned on the hose. Max is going bonkers because it's the first day of spring. He's so excited and he's a little bit out, out of it. I think he got his directions mixed up, boys and girls. Ack! yelled Coco. She grabbed the hose and shut it off. Max wandered away. What do we do, cried BB. We have to undo everything Max does, Coco said, starting with this mess. Holy cow. Meanwhile, Max was busy. Take out the dishes, he said. <laughs> Put away the trash. He is so mixed up. Mail the salad. Toss the letters. Guys, do you think that Max got that backwards? Mail the salad, toss the letters. Two kids at home think that maybe it was supposed to be toss the salad, mix the letters, mail the letters. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know. <gasps> Plant the laundry, hang the seeds. What? He is losing it. He's losing it. Coco and Bibi ran around all day fixing Max's mix-ups. Good morning, Dawn. Uh-oh. Max knocked over my water. That little cat's all over the place. It is kind of fitting right now, right, Laura? What's Max up to now, asked Coco. BB peeked inside the kitchen window. Potatoes, said BB. I think he's trying to feed the potatoes to the kittens. What? Feed the potatoes, said Coco. Coco and BB got the giggles and they rolled around in the grass. <laughs> that is silly. 
Look at that cute little bird. Look at him. Suddenly, BB sat up. Wait a second. What was Max supposed to do with the potatoes? Uh-oh. This is going to get crazy. <gasps> I don't know, said Coco. Chop them. Peel them. <gasps> then she gasped. <gasps> the kittens. Coco and BB ran into the house. Max, stop, they yelled. Max stood in front of the sink. The kittens were inside the sink, playing with soap bubbles. Scrub the kittens, said Max. Then he blinked. Scrub the kittens, he said. <whistles> Look at how cute the kittens are in the little bath. They're pretty stinking cute. Max looked around. He saw the kittens covered with soap. He saw the potatoes covered with cat food. Uh-oh. Just then, Irene walked in. Nice job today, Max. Everything looks great. You're even giving the kittens a bath. Wow. Irene. I mean, come on, Irene. <laughs> come on, Irene. <laughs> Irene looked over at Coco and Bibi. They had strange grins on their faces. Scrub, not chop, said Coco. Scrub, not peel, said Bibi. What? What's with them, asked Irene. And what's with the potatoes and the cat food? I think I know, said Max. Spring fever. Wow. Don't we all have a little spring fever, you guys? I think we all have a little spring fever. I think we all have a little cabin fever. Right? Cabin fever. Wow. That was intense. Do you see that? How easily things could be mistaken? Because just not paying attention or just being so excited just to be outside in the nice weather. Cabin fever could happen to us. Spring fever could happen to us. I'm telling you, we've got to be careful. We have to listen with our ears. We have to watch with our eyes. Right? Watch with your eyes. Listen with your ears. And pay full attention. And focus. Focus. Man, today is a good day for a book. Guess what the last book is? By popular requests and demand, luckily it was shipped just yesterday. I cleaned them off because we are practicing good habits during this time. More than ever, the books showed up by Dr. Seuss. <clears throat> Today we're reading, as our last book, Oh, the Places You'll Go by Dr. Seuss. Such a great book. Such a great book. And I will tell you, Dr. Seuss was genius, guys. When you guys are home, you're going to Mass on Facebook. Thank you, Ruthie. Yep, I would love it if you say an extra prayer for me. Thank you. And you're saying a prayer for everyone. God bless. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Ruthie. So, going to take off my book jacket to keep it from ripping. Going to put it on the side and I will bring it back at the end. So, Dr. Seuss has a book. Oh, the places you'll go. Such a great book. Have you ever read it before, TJ? Huh? Maybe. I don't know. Well, let's read it together, shall we? I'm so excited. I This is the first time I'm opening it. Because guess why? I just got here. Okay. Congratulations. Today is your day. You're off to great places. 
You're off and away. Good book, right? Okay. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own, and you know what to do. And you are the guy who'll decide where to go. Let's read that one again. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own, and you know what you know. And you are the guy who'll decide where to go. Pretty interesting. Okay? Look at all the different roads, the different paths that you could take. Life is filled with so many choices. And you can choose today to use your imagination, take a nap on the couch, color in a picture. You could even decorate and sew a pouch. Look at me. Dr. Seussing it up. Guys, wait till you see this page. <gasps> okay. <clears throat> you'll look up and down streets. You'll look them over with care. About some, you will say, I don't choose to go there. With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet. You're too smart to go down any not too good street. Look at him. He's like, nope, not going near you. Not going near you. That doesn't look like a good choice. Ready? You look up and down streets. Look them over with care. And about some you will say, I don't choose to go there. With your head full of brains and your shoes filled with feet. You're just too smart to go down any not too good street. I love that. He's like, nope, sorry, not going, not going. And you may not find any you'll want to go down. In that case, of course, you'll head straight out of town. Yeah, well, we can't do that right now. And you may not find any you want to go down. In that case, of course, you'll head straight out of town. <gasps> wow. I love it. You ready? How beautiful. It matches my unicorn outfit. It's opener than in the wide open air. Look at it. It's opener. It's opener there in the wide open air. Sorry. <laughs> Out there things can happen and frequently do to people as brainy and footsie as you. I like that footsie. And when things start to happen, don't worry, don't stew, just go right along, you'll start helping too. Nope, you'll start happening too. Sorry boys and girls. I think you're okay with it, you're my friends. Oh, the places you'll go. Look at that, that looks like a circus. Look, it makes you a little dizzy. You'll be on your way up. You'll be seeing great sights. You'll join the high flyers who soar to high heights. Look at the balloons. How beautiful. It's like a castle. I love it. 
How beautiful. Look at them. That's so cool, right? Has anyone out there ever been on a hot air balloon? I have not. I have not air ballooned. Ooh, how pretty. Okay. You won't lag behind because you'll have the speed. You'll pass the whole gang and you'll soon take the lead. Wherever you fly, you'll, you'll be the best of the best. Wherever you go, you will top all the rest. Look at that. You're going to top all the rest. Except when you don't, because sometimes you won't. It's okay. Sometimes we don't. Sometimes you're not the best at something that's going on. You know, sometimes you're not the fastest runner or the best reader or I don't know. Sometimes we're just not, but that's okay. Because as long as you're true to yourself, that's all that matters. I'm sorry to say so, mm, see, I just said it. I'm sorry to say so, but sadly it's true that bang-ups and hang-ups can happen to you. You can get all hung up in a prickly perch and your gang will fly on and you'll be left in a lurch. Yeah, sometimes people, they have an easier time than others. You can't get upset over it. It's life. You'll come down from that lurch with an unpleasant bump. And the chances are, then you'll be in a slump. And when you're in a slump, you're not in for much fun. Unslumping yourself is not easily done. But it can happen. It can. I know. Wow, all these books are so appropriate. You will come to a place where the streets are not marked. Some windows are lighted, but mostly they're darked. A place you could sprain both your elbow and chin. Do you dare to stay out? Do you dare to go in? How much can you lose? How much do you win? Deep, man. And if you go in, should you turn left or right? Or right and three quarters or maybe not quite? Or go around back and sneak in from behind? Simple it's not. I'm afraid you will find for mind maker upper to make up his mind. See that? There's a dark house with lights in the windows. It's like, do you go in? Do you not? These are the decisions that we make all the time, right, boys and girls? To just know what the right thing is to do. I think everybody, moms and dads, dads and dads, moms and moms. <clears throat> Whoa. You can get so confused that you'll start into race down long wiggled roads at a break necking pace and grind on for miles across weirdish wild space headed I fear toward a most useless place the waiting place I kind of feel like we're in the waiting place right now right we're waiting to see what happens next Pages are stuck. Uh oh. I don't want to rip it. What's up with the pages being stuck? It's like there's glue on it. There's glue. Uh oh. Very gentle. 
Weird. There's glue stuck on my page. See it? Huh. Okay. For people just waiting, waiting for a train to go, or a bus to come, or a plane to go, or the mail to come, or the rain to go, or the phone to ring, or the snow to snow, or waiting around for a yes or a no, or waiting for their hair to grow. Everyone is just waiting. We're all just waiting. We're waiting. <clears throat> waiting for the fish to bite, or waiting for wind to fly a kite, or waiting around for Friday night, or waiting perhaps for their Uncle Jack, or a pot to boil, or a better brick. Oh, see? I did it. Or waiting, perhaps, for their Uncle Jake. Or a pot to boil. Or a better break. Or a string of pearls. Or a pair of pants. Or a wig with curls. Or another chance. Everyone is just waiting. We're all just waiting. We're all just waiting. No, that's not for you. Somehow, you'll escape. All that waiting and staying, you'll find the bright places where boom bands are playing. Heck yeah, we won't wait. Look at all that. That looks like fun. With banner flip-flapping, once more you'll ride high. Ready for anything under the sky. Ready because you're that kind of guy. Or girl. But look at him. See him? There he is on top of the elephant's head. They're going, man. They're going for it. They're going straight ahead. I like that. It's got ingenuity. Okay. Oh, the places you'll go. There is fun to be done. There are points to be scored. There are games to be won. And the magical things you can do with that ball will make you the winning, the winningest winner of all. Fame, you'll be famous as famous can be with the whole wide world watching you win on TV. You never know, boys and girls. You never know. That's why you gotta keep going. Gotta always keep going. No matter what the circumstances. Even if you don't have a good night's sleep. Or you might have glasses. Or a cracked tooth in your head. You just gotta keep going. Except when they don't, because sometimes they won't. I'm afraid that sometimes you'll play lonely games too. Games you can't win, because you'll play against you. <sighs> All alone. Whether you like it or not, alone will be something you'll be quite a lot. And when you're alone, there's a very good chance you'll meet things that scare you right out of your pants. There are some down the road between hither and yon that can scare you so much you won't want to go on. But on you will go, through the weather be foul, though the weather be foul. On you will go, though your enemies prowl. On you will go, through the hack and cracks howl. Onward. 
up many a frightening creek. Though your arms may sometimes get weak. That's not what it says. Donna, creative license is not something you have. When you read Dr. Seuss, you read what you have. Let's do that page again. My apologies. But on you will go, though the weather be foul. On you will go, though your enemies prowl. On you will go, though the hack and cracks howl. Onward up many, a frightening creek. Though your arms may get sore and your sneakers may leak. Whoa, that does look really spooky, guys. Doesn't it? Oh, I hope it doesn't look so spooky on the next page. <gasps> look at that big guy. He's big. He's ginormous. He's huge. Look how little our guy is. On and on you will hike. And I know you'll hike far. And face up to your problems, whatever they are. Whatever they are, you'll face them. I know you will. We all will. Look at all of them. You'll get mixed up, of course, as you already know. You'll get mixed up with many strange birds as you go. So be sure when you step, step with care and great tact. And remember that life's a great balancing act. Just never forget to be dexterous and deft. And never mix up your right foot with your left. Yeah. And will you succeed? Yes, you will indeed. 98 and a quarter percent guaranteed. Kid, you'll move mountains. See, I'm moving the mountain. <clears throat> so, be your name, Bucksbaum or, or Bixby or Bray or Mordecai Ally Van Allen O'Shea. You're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting. So get on your way. Let's read that last part again. So be your name, Bucksbaum or Bixby or Bray or Mordecai Ally Van Allen O'Shea. You're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting. So get on your way. I have to tell you that Dr. Seuss, pretty incredible. Also, pretty tricky. Pretty tricky. But that's okay because you know why? I stuck with it. When I made a mistake, I did it over. And I didn't get embarrassed. I know I'm human and hi Aunt Karen. Humans make mistakes all the time. Hi Randy. We do, we make mistakes all the time. And the best part is, is you get to do a do over. So I love that you guys stayed here with me. You watched me read three books. That's what we do in the morning. The letter today is Z. Z is the letter. Thank you, Francine, for the round of applause. We're going to have a little water. Whew, I tell you, water does the body good. Last thing we'll do is open my favorite, Beginner's Guide to the Universe, get a little inspiration, and then we'll do our breathing. Ooh. Okay, here's a good one. 
Here's a good one. <clears throat> it's always better to give too much, pay too much, and love too much than not enough. Especially when you understand it all comes back anyway. That's a good one. That's a real good one. I love that. Yes, Z is for Z. And I think I might go take a nap. What do you guys think? It's kind of rainy out. It's kind of crummy out. It's raw and it's cold and it's Sunday. Today's a good day to rest, good day to meditate, and a good day to just relax. It's been a busy week. All of you out there that have to do school at home, all of you out there that are going to school at home, teaching school at home, teachers, all of you out there that might have your day off today that have been cooking in restaurants or working on the emergency squad, police officers, nurses, firemen, say thank you. I want to say thank you. Gratitude for you for doing what you're doing. I'm praying for those families that are dealing with someone that's ill, okay? Praying for people that are filled with fear and not joy. And I wanted to say thank you for taking time out of your day to be here. Hello, Daniela. Hello, Tracy. If you just got here, you got here at the very end. I'll be posting this on, on YouTube. It will be up on Facebook. Today we read three amazing books. We did some breathing. We're going to do some breathing again right now. And today's letter of the day is Z. Z for Z. I want to go back to sleep. Ah, oh, so let's breathe in. Maybe we'll breathe in, relax. And we're gonna breathe out stress. Let's breathe in, relax, and breathe out stress. Because everything is going to be okay. For three, we're gonna breathe in. Hi, Peter. Relax. Stress. Relax. Stress. Relax. Stress. One more time. What the heck? Relax. Stress. Man. Love you too, Ma. I'm going to go relax. I'm a little stressed. Yeah. Thanks so much for being here. I love you guys. See you 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Have a wonderful day. <sighs> Z. Zippity-doo-dah. I'm out of here.